Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. Um, for anyone that's new, my name's Jay. Welcome to the channel um, and welcome back to everybody that follows both this channel and the new Luna Classic Let It Burn channel. Now folks, if you're not following this channel, um, consider following it. In the top right hand corner of my um, homepage for my channel there is a little youtube icon you can tap that it takes you straight to the burn channel you can subscribe and we have one video up at the moment you can just keep playing this video on repeat in the background and uh in turn helping the channel get monetized um faster and it's the same with happy catty crypto we also have a video the same video on here to help get us monetized quicker we're very close on the happy catty crypto channel and um i'll be announcing very soon and the second that we do get monetized, I will make that announcement. So this is a SHIB update. Um, factual one, you know me, like to stick to the facts. So I've been waiting to see a actual like incident report or something like that to do with the Discord scam that happened. Um, so yeah, let's dive straight into uh, the official scam announcement on the uh, incident. So our Welly official Discord channel was breached for a security flaw in the account of one of the team members. At around 7.30 a.m. EST time, the phasing attack began. <clears throat> for the following 30 minutes, the scammers have spammed through bots and the Discord account of a team member spammed phasing links to a fake minting website where the scammers gained access to wallets of the people who processed with the minting. From those wallets the scammers gained access, they were able to steal NFTs after 30 minutes thanks to the defense and growth breeds we were able to stop the bots spamming the Fizen links. We are working with the defense team and growth uh, breeds of SHIB to secure a solution for the community members affected by this Fizen attack. Moreover, thanks to the SHIB departments, we are, we are going to be able to have a full audit and a report on what happened, how it happened, and how it's being resolved. We are grateful to be part of such an amazing project with these resources and expertise. Right, so that's that. So now let's see what from the defence breed side of it. From the above information, Wellies called for the defence and growth breed to help coordinate the incident and help start the investigation process. We want to remind everyone to protect your investments as much as possible. Defence Breed is going to be coming out with a very in-depth security guide to help everyone stay safe. We will try to complete and get it out to everyone as soon as possible. So this is really good news, folks. As you can see, they've got a good handle on the situation. Um, they're providing solutions to all of the problems that have arised. And this is what you want to see from... Um, any kind of team that's involved with crypto you really want to see them react as soon as possible deal with it have a defense plan in place like shiba inu does and like the team are really good for they really have four of all of the flaws that can be um, penetrated by uh, scammers Fizen attacks and even just general attacks on the cryptos itself because it's an ecosystem you have bone shib leash and soon to be she and shabarium we don't have much information on shabarium but i'm going to be putting up a video soon that it possibly could be a merge or a new coin all in total so yeah let's go back to this so from here defense along with the growth breed and the help of a few amazing community members from the shiboshi social club who came together and helped get people stolen shiboshi's lands and a few various other nfts back in the rightful owners hands they they are heroes who helped the community in coming together to make a scary situation less scary Y'all really showed those scammers a thing or two about the community and how strong the bond is. Great job to everyone that was involved. To, mit to mitigate the coordinated attack that happened, this is going to be an active work in progress. As there are many factors to look at regarding this because as rightful owners of NFTs flagged them on OpenSea. We are already in talks with OpenSea from this attack and working with them to mitigate the damage even more. Once OpenSea clears the effective, affected NFTs, we will then process to move forward with the mitigation process. And uh, this keeps going. Um, there's more pages to this, folks, but I'm not going to drain you out of it. I'll leave the links. You can come here and you can um, read through it if you want. But I've gone over it and it's pretty much them just stating everything that's happened the solutions that are in place and um the things that pretty much is going to be happening the lands that they haven't been able to unable to verify who owns them currently and uh yeah 
they want to obviously thank everyone in the community that has helped and i know i don't do a lot of shiv updates but i hope this one reaches the right people um if you have been affected by this like i said the ship team are really good for these kind of things and folks you need to remember it's not just shiba inu that suffers discord hacks it's across the board it happens in the gaming industry it happens just in general media industries it happened to bayc not too long ago it's happened multiple times discord is a very unsafe platform to use because it bridges all of your ips um and all sorts of uh, frivolous things that people can gain control over um so yeah sorry about that drip that was a download completing in the background <laughs> um so yeah like, like it says on there folks stay safe out there always question everything do your research make sure those links that you've seen anywhere that you're clicking on are genuine links that are given out by the genuine discord uh people obviously that's hard when the discord's been hacked but always double check everything so um yeah and uh obviously on the hacking side of things like i was saying this is common it's not something that doesn't happen every other day because it does it just happens in different industries in different places at different times and bayc suffer hacks all the time this is such like the media report on it like it's a huge thing make a big deal out of it the coin's going to capitulate to zero and when it's not really like that if you go out look at the facts you'll see that bayc suffer so many hacks all the time because with things growing so large and getting so big there becomes more flaws in the designs more ways for people to scam other people uh yeah and there's just so many m more opportunities for people that are scammers hackers and yeah all sorts of frivolous stuff like that so that's all i've got for you now folks so um yeah um stay safe out there um beware of scammers that are imitating me anyone putting whatsapp numbers out on the youtube channel or anywhere even in the telegram group i will not be putting my numbers out to anyone um we're just not dating like that so yeah you could dm me on twitter um don't dm me on um, telegram because my box is just I it's just in it's crazy at the moment which is understandable because a lot of people have a lot of questions but i can't answer everybody's questions but um i spend around two to two and a half hours a day just answering people's questions questions in the message box um and trying to really clear through it but a lot of messages get swallowed so if your message hasn't been answered just send it again i will get round to it and i do clear the spam box daily um so yeah stay safe out there folks and guess what catch you in the next one Shoo.